Hey guys, and welcome back to the Command Block Academy. Today we'll be covering Chapter 4 in the book, which is about teleportation and the tilde, or that little squiggly line that you see right under your escape key. Yeah, we're going to be covering that. So um, that squiggly line is known as the tilde, and I'm going to just refer to it as tilde from now on, because, you know, that just makes it a lot easier on me than saying squiggly line. <laughs> so, uh, but what it means is, uh, it means relative coordinate, which means any number that follows it is a relative coordinate, meaning that it's going to be the the place that it's looking for is going to be relative to where the uh, where the command is being executed. So if it was executed right here, and I put a tilde, and I put a tilde and a tilde, because you need three whenever you use them, and uh, they represent your x, your y, and your z. So if I want to represent four blocks in my x direction, in the positive x direction, five blocks in the positive y direction, six blocks in the positive z direction. You can also use negative numbers, but it just means it goes. In, it's going to go to me, and it's going to execute it uh, in the positive by four, and then up five, and then over six, like so. It's really hard for me to navigate like this. Okay, well, point being, it's going to, it's going to go that many blocks over and up and back and forth, depending on what numbers you put there. So um, there's a couple ways that you would use this. The most common way that you use those directional things is for um, teleportation. So uh, to use the teleport command, we're going to first just type slash tp at p tilde 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 and then one for the middle, meaning one in the y direction. And if you notice, I fly up a little bit. And to make it a little more exaggerated, I'll do five. So you can see I go up into the ceiling and fall down. Um, and it does that because the number, the y tilde, I call this the y tilde, has a 5 after it, meaning that it's teleporting me upwards 5. So it's using the selector app P, which is teleporting the nearest player, up 5 blocks. So um, you can use the selector in different places. You can change the X and the Y direction and everything. Uh, but the point being, it just lets you teleport. And if you want to figure out where to go, so you have a player here, and you want to make them teleport this many block you want to make them teleport over three blocks this way for some reason i don't know why so hit f3 which is or function f3 depending on what computer you're using or depending on what you set your keys and you look at the uh, these coordinates here or these ones block right and they say that you're standing on 272 59 305 so you can step forward like so and you can notice the change in the blocks so this one you can see that the x-axis is uh, going positive when I walk towards the direction I want to go. So, and we want to go three blocks. So, since that's positive, we know that we have to do three here, like so. And uh, so, when I put that, it'll teleport me three over like that. And if you see the numbers going down, it's negative. You put a negative number uh, to go the other way. Whew, that's a that's my automated door. Anyway, but uh, and it works the same for all of the other directions. Um, another thing you can do is with the exact coordinates, so you can note that this is 272.59.306, so you can just type 272.59.306, and it will teleport me there, no matter where I am. And uh, you can also use different selectors instead of the uh, those three coordinates, so I can do at E, at random, type equals zombie. And uh, I'll summon a, zomb a couple zombies over here, for example, and they're going to catch on fire. And uh, now I'm going to teleport them, and it teleported me to one of them. So because I come first, teleporting me to a random zombie, as and the random zombie is something we used in the selector chapter. So it's going to teleport me to a random one each time. Um, and other than that there's not much more to talk about with the teleport command you can use at p to at p which teleports the player to themselves or you could do at a to at p um, but that's really useful in multiplayer maps like if you're doing a multiplayer map or whatnot uh, but it's not really useful in single player worlds or in like uh, for example in like an adventure map or whatnot it's not really useful but if you're doing multiplayer, you want to know how to do these two things, at A to at E and whatnot, because that's used quite often. Um, and then, as for the tilde, it's not the only uh, use of the tilde. is not The, the tilde is not used only for teleport. It's used for other commands. 
And uh, when we talk about those, when I'm going to talk about those commands later, in the later chapters, I won't be making like notes about tilde necessarily. Um, I'm just going to refer to it like you already know, like what it is. And uh, so yeah, that's it for this chapter. A really short, easy chapter today, guys. I just wanted to get it out of the way. Chapter 5 is already underway. I'm making my way through the book as much as I can, but it takes a while to type it. Um, but anyway, so now we're going to move on to the practice problems. And there's only three this time. They're uh, fairly simple, but if you want to do them, just pause the video, go to the Google Doc, and do the practice problems. They'll have them up right here. And then um, pause the video and go try doing them yourself if you want to. Uh, otherwise, just stay, leave the video playing, and I'm going to be going over the, uh, the different ones in order. Okay, so for the first practice problem, it says teleport yourself up 100 blocks. So these are really easy. So slash teleport at P, and then directional, and then 100. So now I'm going to fall down. Ooh, I really like looking at that. Anyway, I'm going to teleport myself back down because I want to be inside the room. There we go. Um, the next one, that's, uh, that's the first one, yeah, that's really easy. The next one is teleport a random zombie to you. So in the tutorial, it showed, in the video, it showed how to teleport to a random zombie. This time, we're going to teleport one of them to me. So we're going to put them in the desks over here. We're going to do such tp at random type equals zombie to at p. And that brought one of them over here. And it brought the same one to me. And it brought a different one. Different one, different one, whatever. Okay, so it, it's picking random ones, and they're all dying because, you know, sunlight. Okay, so, and that's the second one, really easy. So these would only, I would only expect these to take you, like, a minute for all three, maybe, uh, depending on where you're at and how you're doing. Anyway, so the last one is teleport a random zombie to a random zombie. So then you just have to put at our type equals zombie in both of them. And they'll teleport, sometimes they'll teleport to themselves, sometimes they'll teleport to other zombies, but you can see it working right there. Okay, so that's all of them. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. Chapter 5 should be out fairly soon. I'm going to be live streaming uh, probably tomorrow and Sunday on my new map. It's getting really complicated, the new map. Uh, hopefully it won't lag too bad. We didn't have too many problems last weekend, uh, but there's kits now, there's random kit purchases there's kit trade-ups it's really crazy command stuff if you guys want any of that in a video on how to do some of that stuff uh, feel free to put in a comment uh, also a note if you want have a request please comment in the newest video because I had a request but I can't find it anymore I looked through about 20 or 30 videos and I couldn't find the comment anymore um, I don't know if you if you know that you've posted a comment recently on a request just post it in this video again and I'll see it because a lot of times I delete my spam mail because that's where the comments come and because uh, it gets kind of crowded so I delete the spam mail so I know what's new and what's not and I lose some of the uh, requests that way but other than that guys thanks for watching and uh, I hope you guys learned uh, something from this video maybe or maybe you're looking forward to a later video where you will learn something more useful but uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.